What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like button, and share it with your friends. We appreciate all the support. So in this video today, we are doing a silicone soft plastic mold. This is our first attempt at doing it. Uh, we hope to start pumping out some more molds later in the future, but uh, it's cold. We're stuck quarantining right now, so we figured we'd experiment uh, on film with you guys. This is a budget mold, so I picked a silicone kit from Michael's, it's a craft store, and found some Tupperware around the house, and we're just going to see what we come up with after it's done. But make sure you leave a comment down below, let us know if you have any tips for mold making. Again, we're trying to get into the business of it, so any help would be appreciated, but let's get to it. All right, so we got our spread of what we believe is needed for this. Um, I brought a little classable table into the, the kitchen, threw a trash bag down just in case. Uh, I don't know, I've never dealt with silicone, but uh, so I just grabbed a random Tupperware. Um, plastic is fine, so is glass, I heard. Um, a lot of people make boxes out of cardboard, but I had this and it looks like the right depth for what I would need. Um, I might just use this, you know, if I do grub baits and stuff like that. Um, again, this is for a top pour. Uh, so we got our container, our box. We have some of our favorite swim baits that are top pour uh, that we can use. We have the actual mold maker kit. This is again from Michaels. It was $25. Um, hopefully we have enough here, but 30 minute uh, demold and 24 hour full cure. And then that's the stuff it comes with. Uh, the part A and part B and then the mixer and the sticks. I'm not going to use those and then we just have um, a glass uh, Measuring cup so you can pick up measuring cups pretty cheap uh, a lot of people that do mold making um, And soft bait making they have designated ones, but they're super cheap, but this is the parts Required I'll drop everything down below what we used and let's get started first step is to measure out equal parts of the part A and the part B for the mold. So we're going to pour that in our mixing cup. And I'm just going to pour all of it because I want to make sure I have enough to fill this mold. And what it says is make sure you Obviously even parts and then it has to be spread mixed evenly. Doing that. Get it all out of there. Got our, we're going to use a rubberized mixing and we're just going to stir this until it's even. I'll bring it up here so we see it. We want to scrape, make sure you scrape the, the edges. See how like the edges in the bottom? Just to make sure it's 100% even. What we're going to do after that is we just pour it into the mold, into our box. Let's look around, see if it's even. Don't see any mismatching colors. Looking underneath to make sure I got it. So we're going to pour it in one side of our box there and let it spread itself evenly. Now some people I've seen put this in a vacuum sealer and uh, pull bubbles out, but I don't have one of those. There's a few bubbles. I don't know if you can see them, but um, if I stir it slower, I guess it will prevent. Okay. 
issue. Alright, so I'm going to keep stirring this and we'll get to the pouring. Alright, so we're going to pick a corner and we are going to pour gently into the box. Let's see if we can get that right. And hopefully we have enough. As soon as we do. Again, just let it do its thing. Let it pour itself. See if I can get some of this extra in there. What's well, neat, there's a lot of different colors you can buy with the silicone too. Um, you know, this one just happened to be red, but if you're picky on color or whatever, you know, there's lots of different colors you could do. I'm probably going to go with blue once we find the the process we want and start making them more. But it's pretty easy for, you know, just... I'd be very leery about trying to resell other people's stuff, but we're doing it just for ourselves to, to fish, to have some fun crafting. Um, but yeah, once this is done, it says to demold, it is 30 minutes until we can demold. And then for full cure, it's 24 hours. So we'll leave this like that and we'll check back in in 30 minutes. 30 minutes is up. It seems pretty hard. And so far, it looks like nothing. Ooh, some of the tails look like they might have messed up, but maybe we can trim them. So let's see how we get this out of here. I've seen some people use Vaseline on the walls, but um, I can just pop it out. break the edges off here and you know what's nice is you can go back you can cut and trim all this stuff out let's see if we can yeah all right I'm going to mess with this. When I get done, we'll, we'll jump back on here. This is a little more difficult than I thought. Part of the learning curve, I guess. All right, so this is what we got. Let's see how good these pop out. And so far, so good. It's a little slimy, but... That tail's a little messed up, but there we go. So now we let it sit. I might try to finagle. We'll see. I don't think it matters, but I might try to trim. Like this one didn't settle right. That one's perfect. That one's perfect. That one could be adjusted but for a first pour I am pretty excited about that but yeah so hopefully you guys uh, it's a quick video but you know hopefully you guys learned something um, we'll go back and we'll trim all this stuff again it takes 24 hours to cure but um, we'll drop everything in the description below but pretty easy 
uh, silicone soft plastic mold. Uh, we're going to top pour some lures in these in a future video once we get uh, our station and everything set up. But yeah, hope you guys liked it. Make sure you leave some comments below, give us some feedback and some tips. But yeah, that's it for this one.